Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at how we can modify a QR code to give it a more customized feel. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, the most common one is to use a very very small icon and only obscure enough of the QR code that it still doesn't create an error because there's some built-in um, leeway for an error in a, Q a QR code so it allows for a little obstruction but we're going to do something a little bit more technical um, whereby we actually embed a complete image over the entire QR code and still have it be readable. So in order to do that I've generated a QR code and I did this at qrstuff.com which is a very good website for generating QR codes and then I've taken this image of myself and the final product is this kind of red QR code that will take you to a particular link when you go to it but you can also see the images embedded in the back there and I think it looks pretty cool so the way we're going to start off with this is first you'll need to generate your own QR code and you'll need an image that you want to work with once you've got that set up uh, paste your QR code into the GIMP or simply open it up in the GIMP and the first thing you'll want to remember to do is change the image mode um, if you open up a QR code in GIMP it will probably open it as a grayscale image and because we want to manipulate the color you want to set it to RGB so to do that you simply in your QR code window go to image and then go to mode and then set it to RGB and then later on when we start manipulating colors it won't cause any problems for us now the first thing I'm going to do is manipulate this image of myself um, I'm going to be using a technique that's slightly different to the technique I've used in previous videos where I've created a similar thing like the, the Drake video and the uh, Show Yourself video. This one is probably a little bit quicker um, but I'll show you how that goes just very quickly. Uh, I'm just using the snipping tool in Windows to copy my image from so if you're not, don't be concerned that this isn't in your GIMP if you're on the Mac. Uh, this is just for Windows 7. Um, so I'm just going to copy my image uh, in GIMP I can create a new window from the clipboard simply by copying my image and then going to file create and from clipboard so that's just opened that up in a new GIMP window in fact I'll close down the snipping one uh, I'll just make this a little bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing now the first thing I'm going to need to do is remove the background that I don't want uh, so a technique you may have seen me use before is to use the quick mask so down in the left hand column uh, in the left hand corner there is a quick mask button so we just press that and we'll get a red hue over everything and then using our paintbrush um, if we use the white paintbrush uh, we can actually erase parts of the the red hue here so we don't have to do this particularly carefully but I will use a fuzzy brush so I'll just do this very quickly just to give you an idea of what needs to be done and it doesn't matter if we go over the edges because we can clean that up in the next step uh, this was a day when I severely needed a haircut by the looks of it okay let's see that will probably do now this will um, be something we can use as, sele as a selection in a minute so by clicking the quick mask button again down in the bottom left hand corner you'll see that we get the marching ants in place and at the moment everything on the outside is currently selected so uh, sorry everything on the inside is currently selected what we need to do is invert the selection so we can press control and I and that will invert the selection um, and if that shortcut doesn't work for you you can just go to select and invert up here and then what I'm basically going to do is delete the background so if I just press the delete key oh sorry I've got my foreground set to the wrong color uh, if I press the delete key there we go and that gets rid of the the background for me now what I'm going to need to do is change this image so that it is as few a number of colors as possible now the quick way of doing this is to go to the colors menu at the top of the window and then scroll down to posterize or posterize and I think the default setting should be um, three posterize levels which is the one we're going to use if it's not on three just whack it down to three and you'll be fine then we hit OK. Now the tool we're going to use for the majority of this QR code manipulation is the Select by Color tool. Now if you've modified your toolbar like I have or your, uh, your GIMP doc 
uh, up here it will it will be somewhere up in your menu if you haven't modified it if you're still using your default settings you can still find the select by color um, just under the select options um, now if you want to know how to modify this I have another video on that you can just have a look for it um, but basically I'll be using this button up here but if you don't have that button you can just use select and then by color so what we're going to do first is delete all of the parts of this color uh, all of the parts of this simple color image that get in the way so we'll get rid of the gray first and then just hit delete uh, these pinks we don't need so I'll delete those there's some yellow down here I'll get rid of that and I'm also going to get rid of this kind of light brown color or the kind of greeny color um, just because that's going to cause too much um, fill in information when I convert the rest of it to black but that's basically all of the image that we're going to use uh, I'm then going to use the uh, select by color tool again and I'm going to select the white background and then I'm going to invert the selection again so I'm going to press control and I or you could simply go to select and invert and the same thing will work and I'm going to use another shortcut key here where we basically use the foreground color to fill in all of the selection so if I press control and comma because black is my foreground color it fills everything in black so I can deselect everything and you get a very quick view of um, the, the two tone image that I'm going to use now because that's a little bit scrappy at the moment I'm just going to erase a couple of the pixels that don't need to be there just to make this look a bit cleaner and this is why we don't need to be that careful at the beginning because we get to clean it up a little bit um, but that's basically everything I need for my initial image. Now what we're going to need to do is paste this image um, of my face back over the QR code layer and then we're going to do our manipulations from there. So what I'll do first is select everything in the image of my face. So just go to select and then all and then I'm going to control C to copy it. Now we're not going to need to use that again. So in the QR code window I'm just going to paste in that particular layer so control V and then in my um, layers dock over on the right hand side here uh, I'm just going to select the floating selection right click it and hit new layer so you can see that my pasted layer has gone in there now if you don't have your window if you don't have your layers window um, here on the side or your window your layers dock you can just press Control and L and that will bring it back up if you've closed it in the past and don't know how to reopen it. Now the first thing I'm going to need to do with this, I'll just uh, make the rest invisible by clicking these eyeballs so we can only see the top layer. And you can see that there's uh, some transparency still in this image because the image of my face wasn't big enough for the original QR. So what I'm going to do now is firstly go to layer and layer to image size and what that's done is take this yellow border that was originally around the white here and it's just made it the same size as the other layers and then using the select by color tool again I'm going to select the transparent background and because my foreground is set to white at the moment I'm just going to hit control and comma and that will color everything in white again so now if I just toggle between those two you can see the two images that I'm working with now in fact this background image we don't need so I'll just get rid of that so you should have now two layers the layer of the image that you want and the layer of the QR code beneath it uh, and it's important that you have them in that order so the image on top the QR underneath now the first thing I'll do with from this stage is make the image layer on top invisible so I'm just going to click the eyeball to get rid of it and we're going to need to change the color of our QR code so I'm going to use the select by color tool again and I'm just going to hit any of the black parts of the QR code. Now I'll go to the foreground color over here on the left hand side and I'm going to select a color that has a nice high contrast rate with the white background that we currently have. Now because my YouTube channel uses a very deep red color I've decided to use that for this QR code but any dark colors will work really. So I'm using this dark red color and we just hit OK and again because that's the foreground color I can 
press control and comma and that just colors everything in red for me nice and quickly. So if I deselect that you can see everything's been colored in red. Now I'm going to make my top image layer visible again and I'm going to change the layer mode. Um, in some previous tutorials you would have seen me play around with this before but here we're going to change the layer mode to burn. So you hit the little arrow up here and from the drop down we're going to select burn. And you can see, if I just zoom in for you, that what that's done is all of the black parts have, where they've intersected with red, um, they've overlaid. Where they intersect with white parts of the QR code, they're non-existent. So that gives us um, the basis of our image. So we're actually almost there. We're halfway there now. So as you can see, the only thing that's left to include are these grey parts. And actually it's really simple to get those as well. So the first thing we'll do for this next stage is back on the image that we're manipulating. I'm going to click on the image layer, the one that's on top, and we need to duplicate this layer. So you can duplicate the layer by clicking the layer itself and then going down to the bottom of this window and hitting the image of the thing that looks like two screens or two images and that will duplicate the layer. So now you should have two of the same layer up above. Now this doesn't need to be a burn layer so we can set the layer mode of this back to normal so we just go back up to this drop down menu and hit normal and that overlays everything at the moment but that's not a problem. Um, now for this next part we're just going to make both of these invisible both of the image layers invisible just so we're working with the QR code and then we select the QR code again and again we're going to use the select by color tool which may be up there or if you've lost it it's in select and then by color and we're just going to select the red and while we've still got this selected we're going to make the top layer, the top image layer visible again and we're also going to select it. Now what we can do is because we, as you can see with the marching ants the outline of the QR code is still selected so what we can do is actually delete everything that's currently selected and it will leave us with only those parts of the background image that are on the white part of the QR code so that will fill in some of the gaps for us so what we'll do is we'll just delete that and you can see that the red comes back through now we can't leave it just like this because if I make this visible as it stands although it looks good this QR code is unreadable what we need to do is lower the contrast between the white and these parts of the black that are supposed to be over the white. So what we can do is make it a, a shade of grey and that will lower the contrast sufficiently that it becomes readable with a QR scanner. So what we need to do at this stage is just click on the pasted layer um, that we've got here, the top one, and we're going to use the select by colour tool again and we're just going to select a part of the um, the black image that's on top and you can see we've got some marching ants and they're just around where we want the white parts so now I'm going to change the color again so I'm going to change my foreground color to a gray now this is actually quite a dark gray and I'm surprised that this reads but it does work so if you want a nice dark gray that is still readable uh, the HTML notation for it is AE 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 and that will work so we just press OK and as we've done before, if I press control and comma, um, that will fill in that uh, foreground color for me. All that's left to do is deselect it, and then we can press control and M for McDonald's or merge, and that will merge the final image for us. And then if I make this the 100% size again, uh, there you can see the kind of shady, almost Che Guevara-esque kind of image again. Um, in the background of our QR code and I'm just going to fire up my iPad to see if this one scans and yes it does awesome now obviously you can't see me scanning that so you just have to take my word for it um, but that's pretty straightforward um, I'm going to show another video in a second which shows another um, few manipulations you can do to do even more interesting things with QR codes um, but I think this is a slightly different version to 
uh, manipulations with QR codes I've seen before, so I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Please uh, visit the QR code that is currently sitting in front of you um, because it will take you to something that hopefully you'll find useful. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.